Hi, I'm Bobby, and I'm going to be showing you the ASAdmin validate multicast command that is new in GlassFish 3.1. Uh, this command is used to ensure that multicast transport is available on each of the machines where you want to be running your instances. Uh, you should run it on, on each machine at the same time to make sure that uh, the instances can talk to each other. This can be useful if you're trying to diagnose a problem where some instances aren't finding the DAS or each other. So this is what the output of the command looks like. Uh, it shows you it's using a default value for the port and for the address. It's not specifying a network adapter um, right now by default. It sends a message that includes, uh, among other things, the name of the host that is sending the UDP messages out. Uh, and then it listens for the messages at the same time. Uh, we see that we received a loopback message from ourselves, uh, which is fine, but nothing else. So that's the, the way, that's the, what the output looks like, um, but running it on one machine at a time isn't terribly useful. So now we'll run it on three machines at the same time. I'm going to run it locally here. I'm going to run it on uh, this machine. It's a, a different one that's also local. It's also on the same subnet with me. So we'll get this started. And we see the loopback message there. And another machine that's, uh, that's far away that is not on the same subnet. Uh, so now back on our original local machine here, I'm going to start it. Uh, it doesn't need to run for very long, so I gave the timeout option. And I can see that I received my, uh, my local loopback message, as well as the message from the local machine that's also on the subnet, um, and then exits after, uh, after five seconds. So that shows that UDP multicast is available between these two machines, that um, it's, running on, it's available on both machines, and they can see each other. If I switch over to this machine that's far away, it only received the loopback message and didn't receive anything else from uh, from any of the other machines. And we can just we can stop it with a control C if we want to. Now I'm going to run this again just to show you with the verbose option a little bit more information. In this case, it um, it shows you what it, the uh, the defaults that it's going to use. It shows the time to live for the uh, the multicast socket that it's uh, that it's going to use. It's setting it to a minimum of four in this case, but you can specify whatever you'd like. We see now the full message that's being sent, which is the name of this host and a unique identifier, uh, and then it shows all the messages that it, that were received, the um, the host and the identifier. This identifier is useful if you have more than one process running on a machine, and these processes are using different network adapters. So you, you know, it, it, they may count as two separate hosts in this case, and um, it does the right thing with the uh, the loopback message. Now, one other, one other thing to show is what happens if you do not have multicast available at all when you run this on a node. And to simulate this, I'm just going to run with a very short timeout that doesn't give it enough time to do any work. So in this case, it will be, it'll start sending out messages. It probably sends out one, but it exits before the receiver thread ever has a chance to receive any of them. Uh, so you can see here, it says receive no multicast data, and you get a failed message. And this is what you would see if you had no multicast available on a machine when you were running this. For more information, please see the ASAdmin validate multicast command help page, and also the blog that accompanies this screencast. Thank you.